Hello and welcome to Cassie's Cosmo weekly overview um, from Monday the 17th of February. You see it's Mercury retrograde and don't you just love it at its best. This is the second time I'm recording this. The first one snapped after the first nine minutes and there's been a lot of Mercury energy around there. Apologies for no video last week, um, guys and girls out there. I'm still being a little bit under the weather and struggled with it um, of recent. I hope you all had a wonderful Valentine's Day, which was also on the Leo full moon. If some of you follow me about on the Facebook link that I put up there or on Google, I did actually put that for my own personal experience and from a lot of other people around me. Leo, again the sixth house, as well as it comes in around creativity, children, it's the sun card in the tarot, um, your recreational needs, um, your love. Um, it's a very exciting time with the sun or the, or the Leo energy and the full moon. Something climates and maybe something ending or something coming to a point of you starting to think off on that creative side within your life. I have found a lot of people with over the, the last week say but the Leo rules to me the sixth house of the health aspect so many people have been very unwell with just things like colds that have exploded into loss of voice um, head colds really quite unwell chest infections so unfortunately this moon will last the full moon is with us for two weeks until we hit the Pisces uh, new moon on the 1st of March so if some of you are feeling unwell it's it's the thing that's going round at the moment, but again, I kind of feel that the Leo energy has brought in what I perceive as people wanting to really get started in life, feeling excited, but all of a sudden struck down by bugs and illnesses. So I hope that you're all well out there. I'll go through the cards. I've got the full the full card, which is linked to Aquarius, New Beginnings. The Eight of Cups, which is about making decisions where you go and walking away from a situation. The Justice card, which is linked to Libra, bringing in balance or news of balance or signing agreements. The Knight of Cups, which can mean offers, someone coming towards you in a relationship, but offers around work or those agreements again. The Hermit card, sometimes it can mean you want quiet space, as I walk you through the tarot, can be linked to Virgos, it can also can mean re-education or learning in some form, in some way. We start the week off, as I'm doing this, on Sunday night with the moon still in the, the Virgo energy, which is generally the details, um, paying attention to details in some way. You know, what does the, this week hold for you? Um, some adjustments, trying to, to deal with things, uh, a little bit of give and take, um, wrapping things up, which again is that Virgo um, moon, tackling paperwork in order, getting yourself organized, adapting to situations, your aspirations, your inspirations, Again, this week is about freedom, friends, group, the internet, charities, your original ideas, quirky or not. That's what the inventive side of the Mercury retrograde or the Aquarian time that we're still in, really, it's the last day or two of it. So you're really having to, to dig deep into the Aquarian field as to seeing what you can bring in. We're also going to be looking at the last of the North and South Node. Um, hospitals, addictions, healing, film, art, spiritual realm, romantic interest, um, needing to pull back, rest, regroup, relook at things. Very significant week this week. When I pulled in this Eight of Cups changing direction, that is the 18th. That's when the North and South nodes will change from they've been in Scorpio and Taurus for the last 18 months. So as we change signs also, when the North Node of Destiny is calling and changing, we also hit the Pisces realm as well. Very early stages on the 18th, but we hit the Pisces field. So you then kind of take on that character for the next 30 days. God help you all of the Pisces, the imagination, the dreams. On the negative side, it, it can mean deception, it can mean addiction. On the positive side, it's the imagination, the creativity, the dream, the, the big dream, dream big and make it really happen. But the change of direction for me here is the north and south nodes going into Libra and Aries. Aries is about your identity, your image, your brand, the first house of astrology. So it will mean that brands will be changing, 
P -p 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 Penguin may well be something slightly different, but brands will be changing your name, your logo on a company, car, company paperwork may be changing, your name behind your desk may be changing, CEO to something else, it will be your brand, your identity. When it changes to Libra, Libra's got more than so a lot of Librans are really pushing or again exercise really motivated at the moment to change something in their life their body their image so you'll all be motivated to change how you look and feel especially Aries and Libra so what does it mean as we change into these signs as as something rises to the surface and we leave Scorpio the deep dark secretive Scorpio things may rise to the surface this week some things that were hidden if you felt you've been scammed by someone or someone wasn't being honest with you or they weren't really putting their cards on the table you might find that things come to the surface or you were highlighted by a situation this particular week it's known as a very exciting week and you'll feel the changes your moods may change as well going from Pisces from Aquarius to Pisces Mercury went back into Aquarius on the 12th so again you've been doing your brainstorming you're reinventing your ideas you really wanted to have your business cards have come or something else as you've signed for something it's about pushing it all out but as I've said in other weeks I do not feel that until around about the first week 6th 7th of March that's the picture when Jupiter goes forward when your expansion comes in so if you're starting a new business or any business opportunities or any new ideas they're not really going to start off for having clients business or money coming in until March at this particular point you see even on the 19th and I'll look at that in a minute in astrology you've got Saturn that is testing us all in some way we all love Saturn he's the master of the zodiac but he, the, the, when he tests us it's not always as easy as we would like it to be um, so if I go for the eight of cups which is Tuesday this is a big day of the week um, again emotionally because things are starting to change um, and you'll go into the, the, the relationship or the, the moon within Libra at that point um, and again you've got that Uranus or the Grand Cross Jupiter and Pluto so it'll be quite a vigorous day and you may walk away from things you might change to a whole different level after people have walked away from jobs walked away from their homes and this new phase that we're going in of Libra's, Libra, Aqu Aqu Libra Aquarius, Libra Aries, is people are changing direction. People are changing a lot within their life at the moment, walking away from things. Um, it's looking at your own personal needs, expanding the dynamic of your home life or, or how people see your real estate family. Um, it's very much bringing in key people, attorney, attorneys even, um, specialists, clients, competitors, um, relationships. This is a real time this week of making things happen um, as much as you or where you can. The sun moves into Pisces. That's enough to make anybody feel very confused <laughs> at that particular point in time. But it can be an illusion, but it can be mystical time. It can mean the dream side of things it's the Pisces theme so it's about getting ready to listen to your intuition and what you hear and what you see your, your psychic abilities developing something recharging the batteries in some form in some way any Pisces out there then this is your time to shine and take the lead in your own life in a big way um, you know and getting ready to be get involved with certain people in certain situations that seem to be coming in these north node of destiny that is changing that I've just mentioned it's not been there this change of the nodes for for some time you could be looking 1995 ask yourself where you were then and what was happening in your life at that point now for me that's quite some time ago you know you are talking a good number of years as to where your life was 15 years or more ago so it's about kind of saying if your life's been stuck since then get ready because destiny is moving you into times now for key relationship Libra there coming in the justice that's about getting balance especially when we hit the month of July this year it'll be the next chapter of the story um, and what's happening is they're trying to lead you into key partnerships or relationships that are going to be suiting your needs. If you were happy 15 years ago and you lost the opportunity with someone, 
it, the Cosmo is bringing in your life to say, Destiny's calling you in a new direction. It's time to move forwards within your life. It's time to make that shift, to make that change. You can find the right person that's right for you, even if it's a business partnership. Wednesday, you see you've got Mercury squares the Saturn. And you've got the Libra card here. So again, um, taking on responsibilities, dealing with things, excuse me, pushing things harder, even with bosses or authorities. So Wednesday's going to be a pretty hard day. But if you tackle it on a serious note, any meetings, talks, offers, or anything that you have or focus on, um, meeting your needs, astrology, internet, anything you like, charities, financial you know, divorce, intimacy. Wednesday's going to be a real day when you've got to tackle things um, to a degree that you might find that, yeah, it's a little bit hard, a hard work. Um, you're going to have the last burst, really, of that Libra moon, which will give you a, a little bit more of a blast at, again, those clients or partnerships that are there with you. But again, look at the card that's placed, the Justice card. It's linked towards the Libra aspect side of things. As we move forward into the week at the moment, you see, Thursday feels to me as if it's quite a good day for focusing on, again, you might be focusing on relationships with the Knight of Cups here, your sex life, divorce, um, that kind of still that last little bit of Scorpio theme in some way, reaching your goals, any boss, uh, any career um, opportunities. A Knight of Cups is also when you're offered something. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It can mean offered something regards a job or a job situation that seems to be coming in. You know, Thursday is also a good day when it comes in around, again, home and family, um, real estate, making adjustments to suit your needs or the needs of others at that particular point in time. I feel that Friday will will mean another of those sort of Mercury retrograde talks or understanding aspirations, charities, freedom talks. So if there's a retrograde um, around Friday again, the talks or, or the conversation that take place are generally what I call coming through on a very serious note. So this week is a little bit of, you'll feel your compass turning within your life. You'll feel things starting to shift a little bit for you. You see, even this beautiful full card that comes in on Monday is kind of talking about new beginnings, new starts. Because that north node of destiny and the south node are shifting you into a different level of the roundabout of life. You are being pushed to stand up for yourself, to take the lead in your own life, to go where others have not gone before, as they say. But any relationships, some of you may be walking away from people that you've wanted for so long because you've got to kind of say, they've got no energy in them. I'm not getting what I want. So as we, the two cards, the Eight of Cups and the Justice, is about walking away to get that balance in your life, to meet that right person, the person that runs after you, the person that gives you what you need and what you're looking for in your life. It will be a significant decision. You've got to walk away from who you were before because the, the North and South Node are significant changes for the next 18 months. Libra Aries are very strong indicators of balance in relationships and your body, your image, your identity, who people see you as. So this is a bigger shift coming in. You're having to tackle key people or situations on Wednesday. But I kind of feel here that as we move forward, this is people, you've been doing a lot of thinking about your life. All of you have been saying to me, I'm starting to change. I'm not giving up on someone, but I kind of feel like I don't want to be in this race anymore. I want to turn something in my life. I want more. And what's been happening with the Mercury retrograde, we're still in it. A lot of soggy weather, which I did say. I thought there'd be floods and that with the Mercury retrograde starting in Pisces. And there'll be another one in June, July. It starts in a water sign. So forewarned is forearmed. But as we backtrack, Mercury retrograde is rethinking, relooking, taking you back to the past. Mercury is your mind. It rules transport. Again, people have had delays. Um, people have had accidents in vehicles. We're still not out of it. You're still in a retrograde. So why hasn't someone communicated back with you when they thought they would? 
delays till you get out of the 28th you're not clear till about the 17th 20th of march out of the the shadow retrograde but the 28th really so you've got a little bit longer to go with people waiting for things to come in this is not a time to make decisions but you'll find that your mind has been constantly whirling round with ideas new inventions new ways so many people have left their jobs and just said I want to do something completely different and this is really what the first two months of the year are bringing a shift in your subconscious a shift in your mind the Leo new moon for the next two weeks <clears throat> new moon full moon is about that creative energy leo is playful it's a bit more light-hearted it's spreading the joy it's spreading the love so you're starting to reconnect with people again or wanting more within your life but still kind of felt held back the pisces new moon on the first of march and a week later jupiter goes um forwards again that's really when for me everything's going to start really kicking in for people we'll see the daffodils everyone will feel a little bit more aligned with their spirit for some of you signs out there that have felt very wobbly very unsure you're really going to find um gemini's and taurians as just per se for two of them that are going to start to have a little bit more kick a bit more well do you know what i feel i can do this and i can do that before when you were doughty and unsure about your life and full of anxiety you're now really ready to kind of grab life with both hands and live it in the fast line and that's what i'm going to say to all of you out there you know as we turn the veil into the pisces realm pisces is the psychic pisces is the spiritual pisces is the intuitive and it makes the realms very thin when you cross over into the pisces realm so there may be some crossing over next week people that have been lingering will cross over because the veil is what they call very thin where for some people out there they can hear spirit and connect with the other side but there will be some passings and life is short so this is about really making the most we're in 2014 and i've said before year the horse fast pace hit that ground running we've been through some awful times and we've still you know with all these uranus pluto square we've got more to come but we're on our final leg of the journey till march 2015 this is about shaking up your world this is about that new start at the beginning of the week it's about you walking away from what no longer is giving you anything even if it's a diet even if it's the old you of how you looked this north node and south node of destiny are making you change again your your brand your identity aries is who we are the first house so you may be changing something of how others see you within your job with libra and mars and libra i kind of think it's going to really be kicking people about um their diet eating healthier again people really wanting to shed weight and there'll be a lot more than the average person that kind of says i feel motivated i can do it so with these north nodes the withers for the next 18 months libra and aries very strong signs they'll feel the shift so you, if you know a libra or an aries you'll kind of see them really initiating things first i want to change how i look i want to change how you see me i'm getting promotion at work i'm now x y and z and um, the libra is with mars in it pushing to get balance in relationships but will push you all to physically be motivated around any form of exercises libra is balanced so i kind of think they're two good signs to have on board but we'll feel the shift for 90 percent of you out there that look for relationships you know I, I still feel as if you're you're changing your minds constantly for what you want and in a retrograde you won't know whether you're arthur or martha you might say i'm hanging on in there and then you're changing your mind let's see what next week brings or as we wrap up towards the end of the mercury retrograde for those looking at jobs there should be some of you that either have interviews but get to hear the news possibly next week some of you will be hearing it this week some of you will kind of say i went for something last week but i've got an offer coming in this week um so i kind of feel here that this is the time of people hearing good news around jobs money coming in uranus is still here so again it's expect the unexpected whether it's windfalls money or anything else in your life we are in times of changes 
the cards that come through are a mixed bunch but again all the colors that come through you start walking away getting the balance offers and agreements rethinking your life as we come towards the end of the week to me make a lot of sense as well even february this month has been a month of a lot of changes it's not been easy at certain points and wednesday is still what they call a saturn day saturn will kick your backside really it'll make you learn the lesson if you haven't done it you've got to be tackling something on wednesday so wishing you all a wonderful week i hope you've enjoyed the weekly overview have fun out there expect any unexpected changes in your life any changes that come in may well turn your life around overnight even within this next two weeks make the decisions that are right for you hit the ground running don't sit and wait for anybody that's not worth it in this world this again Aries is about yourself this is a time for you to be selfish to think about your own needs and really put someone else on the sideline life is also telling you that you know these north nodes going into Libra is about bringing the correct person the correct relationship to your door that's going to give you the balance that you'll need for a long time to come so I hope you're all well and take care until next week's overview from Cassie's Cosmo.